to know uh, how many of you have previously built a CLI app? OK, almost like everyone. So uh, uh, that tells me that I'll not be basically telling something new to uh, you guys. But uh, yeah, basically, I'll be demonstrating uh, why should uh, we build this, uh, how to build them. Uh, and uh, one main thing this time is where to build them. Because uh, there are companies in the Joomla world, uh, there are businesses, and uh, uh, they build Joomla CLI applications for, for their use. Uh, so almost every, every Joomla business has uh, some or the other Joomla CLI app. But uh, it is for their use only. So uh, we want, uh, from now, now on, to have a, uh, a, a complete application suite of Joomla uh, CLI application suite, so that the community can benefit from it. So it is uh, about that. So let's start. So uh, before starting, I'd like to. So before starting, yeah, it will go away. Yeah. So uh, who am I? Uh, I'm an undergraduate student from India. Uh, I'm, I'm in my currently in my final year. And before coming, I just gave my exam. So hopefully, if everything goes well, I'll be passing out this year. Uh, so uh, how did I get here? So yeah? Oh, no, no not that. Not that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Uh, so there is a program called Google Summer of Code, which is run by, obviously, Google. So Joomla regularly participates in that program. And what, what Google does is Google uh, pays a stipend of $5,000 to students to code for some of the best open source organizations around the world. So Joomla is also a part of Google Summer of Code. It regularly participates in uh, GSOC. So uh, last year, I got the opportunity uh, to work for the Joomla project. And my project was about template manager. So the template manager that you see uh, in Joomla 3.2 and onwards, uh, uh, that was my project. And, and Javier here and Chad, they, they helped me a lot uh, in that project. So. Uh, now, why am I presenting this? So uh, last year was my project was about template manager. Then I got the scholarship, and I went to Joomla World Conference and presented my GSOC project there. This time, things are a little different. Uh, I, I again proposed my project, and this, my, this time my project was building Joomla CLI app suit. Uh, and I'll be starting my project, and I'm, I'm, I'm at Jab, and I'm presenting my project before starting my project. So. Uh, that's why I'm presenting this, because I'm building the Joomla CLI app suit this time. So our agenda will be like uh, three basic things. It will be a short, crisp presentation. Uh, uh, first is why to build. Every one of you like uh, <coughs> in the past have built uh, the CLI app, so that is uh, nothing new. But the thing is where to build. So uh, it, is, it is about standardi standardization uh, of the apps and submitting those, the scripts that you have to the community so that the Joomla community can use this, this, this uh, application suit for themselves and how to build. I guess I do not need to tell uh, how to build those apps uh, in this audience. So uh, basically, uh, when I was looking for this, uh, my project, uh, this year's project, so uh, I looked at the, the, at the, the project list that uh, uh, Joomla uh, <coughs> gave to students, and I didn't connect with uh, much of the projects. But they were very good projects, but I personally didn't connect to the project. So I talked to Elin, and she su suggested me that I should build something like Drush. So uh, how many of you are familiar with Drush, Drupal Drush? Yeah. So uh, Drush is a command line uh, shell and scripting interface for Drupal. And uh, it is it's a similar uh, kind of thing that we, uh, we want to build uh, in Joomla. So there are a lot of uh, things that you can from from your local command line, you can you can change or you can uh, impact your remote servers, your remote websites. So uh, Drush is very very popular in the Drupal world and it's very handy for the users. So uh, it is it is uh, the inspiration is from there, and the types of scripts that we can build uh, are are like uh, like Matt suggested me a uh, path. Like these are all the community suggested scripts. When I when I uh, asked the community what script should I should I uh, incorporate in my uh, and in, my, in a project in, in, in the application suit. So like password reminder. Uh, suppose uh, there, there our website has thousands of users, and we want uh, to remind the user to change his password uh, if he has not changed his password for uh, x number of months. So we just open our local command line, type one command, and specify the server or, or, the, or the website. 
and it'll check all the users of the website the last time they changed their password and uh, if, if, if it is it is the duration is more than x number of months or x number of days it will re remind each and every one of those users through mail so it is it is that simple you you don't need anything you just you are just on your uh, on your local machine and 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 in in one in, uh, command and it, it it's all done so uh, install language that was suggested by Javier so uh, suppose we have a number of websites or a group of websites. We can specify a particular language. So uh, all the websites simultaneously can, and, uh, can download uh, the language pack from the language repository. And we don't need to do anything. We just need to like, like, uh, pass a command with a few parameters and a command line. It will, it will, it will <coughs> do that stuff. Then similar things are like Joomla update. And Joomla rsync is very interesting. And I, I, I hope that I uh, <coughs> build it this time. So Rsync is basically a protocol for, for transferring the entire folder tree from one server to another. So if we, if we have something like that in Joomla, and, and if, we can, if we can do that from a local command line, it'll be very cool for the community and very, very handy. So yeah. So uh, uh, like backup site and restore sites and edit config, and these, these, are, these are the things that, like in edit config, if you want to edit some configuration settings, you need to open your server, then like cPanel, then the file system, and yeah, uh, then you need to open the file and change the settings. Instead, you can just c pass a command with a few parameters, and then you're good to go. I just got a question on the Joomla R thing. Sure. Uh, what would be the Joomla addition to R sync? So right now we use it all the time, and mm -hmm. we have to change the R of R sync every day, blah de blah de blah, and yeah. have done with it. Uh, mm -hmm. So that syncs by forward. So Yeah. So why, what would be the additional functionality that so Joomla uh, R-Sync would bring in? Basically, it will, not be, it will not be any additional functionality. You can, all these tasks you can do some way or the other, but, but the thing is standardization. A complete absolute, a complete, like, uh, it's, it's like that if you want to zip a file or if you want to work with a file system, you can, you can do that with PHP classes or PHP methods, but then there is, uh, we have we have uh, Joomla framework and uh, we have Joomla classes for file systems and folders. So it is all about standardization. Yeah. I think it's manual for them. So with R R yeah. you have to use uh, excluding uh, the flags to make sure that the PHP folder yeah. is accepted well enough. Uh, yes. Included. So it would be cool within Joomla itself to skip that part. Yeah. Uh, from a shell, oh, from a shell, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. well, cron jobs is not exactly you cannot run them from like uh, you need you need to be uh, like you need to program your server to for for real cron jobs. Like uh, what what we have in 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 the web world, like uh, when 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 uh, uh, a search engine accesses uh, like uh, the website, when then only are the cron jobs run. They are not. Ac Exactly, real cron jobs. What we are talking about, like uh, the real cron jobs are the one which we program on the on the server, so that they are done timely. Uh, like a cron job is need need to be run on 3 a.m. or 3 p.m. Then it will run on 3 a.m. 3 p.m. But yeah, but but they are not real cron jobs because if if we have specified that a cron job needs to be run at 3 p.m. and someone accesses the site at 3:10 p.m. or so, it will then check. Like, are you, like? Why is that not in the cron job? Because in my code program, I specify commands that I should actually write for the Joomla folder. Okay, uh, yeah, that, that, yeah. That yeah. I, I, was ref I was referring to, like, like when, when we access a the site, then, then the script instantiates and, oh, no, yeah. No, that's not yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's for me. Yeah, yeah, I was referring to that. Yeah. So, yeah, things like that. So, there are other cool, cool, cool scripts that, that I'll be uh, adding to this. Uh, like publish and publish articles, we can get a list of, yeah. And number three, so I said that. Yeah, <laughs> there, there, are, uh, <laughs> there are other scripts like import bulk user, import bulk tags, and yeah. Um, I, I can see already some, some things I would want to have added to the GitHub module. Sure. Um, are, are you going to set up like a GitHub repository? Yeah, yes. 
Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, uh, like, like we, we can have. Uh, <laughs> 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 so, yeah. We'll be constantly chasing, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, like, like, my last year's project, I proposed the project, and in the end, it was uh, nowhere near to the, like, like the project I proposed. It was constant innovation and taking feedback from the community, yeah. So, the end pro product is, like, is nowhere near to the project, uh, like, uh, this time, uh, Kenneth, Kenneth Crowder, and Matt Thomas. The, the feature at number four is my, yeah. <laughs> so the number four feature is my personal favorite here. Like backing up and like taking the dump, SQL dump, making an archive of the entire Joomla tree and backing up to a cloud service because now we have cloud service APIs. Uh, <coughs> so we can use those APIs to like back up, uh, to make a backup on the cloud. So uh, it, is, it is just limited to our, like limited by our imagination, uh, what we can achieve. Uh, by CLI apps. Yeah. I'm going to hold up here a suggestion anyway. Sure. Sure. I, I, I would like to see you focus on the stuff that cannot be done easily, like mm -hmm. on shell level or uh, with other means of tooling. Uh, like backup, uh, I can script in shell. Mm -hmm. No problem at all if I'm at on command line. Yeah. Importing articles, uh, disabling extensions, mm -hmm. uh, th that stuff. That yes. he has the Joomla yes. in front of us. So yes. I would my suggestion would be focus on that okay. project because that will address a need that can't yeah. be solved otherwise at this point. Okay. So uh, moving forward. So this is basically uh, I'll be telling where we, we need to standardize. If 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 the community has some scripts, uh, there are two things. They can be modified uh, in a way that, that it fits the standardization. And then they, they, uh, we need to make new scripts according to the standards to make a complete uh, application suit. So in the past, like uh, uh, Alien, uh, some time back, like two years back, did, uh, did something called JSHell for, for, for the same purpose, executing uh, CLI scripts. And then, uh, then uh, David adopted Alien's JSHell and made something called JACX, Joomla Application Control Scripts. So JAX is an official, uh, yeah, it has an official repository under github.com slash Joomla slash Jax. So uh, it is under the official Joomla repository. So uh, it, is, it is presently, we, we have just three scripts in there. And the aim is to bring more, com more scripts from the community, restructure them, fit it under Jax, and also uh, build new scripts for Jax. So our aim is to build around 30 to 40 scripts in, in, in the, this summer. So as you, like, I hope that the future is awesome for Jax. So yeah, to, to review, like, like Jax provide a convenient command line method for running Joomla CLI applications on a remote websites. And the second thing is that you can run those commands both in single and groups of servers. This is something I find fascinating. So, so uh, how to like uh, do this stuff? So uh, if, you, if you clone the GitHub repository, So uh, it is, it, we, we get something like this. Scripts is a folder in which the user contributed or other scripts are present. And this folder needs to go on the remote website. And then we have the two main files here, the JAX is the basically uh, bash file and, and then the servers.sh file. This is a, uh, this is a uh, configuration file in which we uh, specify our servers. So we basically need to uh, do the three things here. The first thing is, to set up our local environment. It basically is setting up a path for JAX. So we don't need to specify uh, the, uh, the path for the JAX script every time we need to run the commands. So it is basically just uh, setting up the path. We can just do JAX and pass the parameters and we'll do the job. The second thing is that add server details. So to show you that, uh, this is the servers.sh file. It is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You specify a server alias, you specify SSH, uh, username, you specify the uh, directory uh, on the remote website where the scripts are stored, and this is your server one, then the server two and the server three. So, and, and then you can make a group 
of servers like server one and server two. So it is it is it is that simple. And when you when you actually run those scripts, the Jax will automatically ask for you for your for your SSH password. You'll provide the password and it'll, it'll run the scripts. So those would be aliasing like uh, it specified in a requested file for SSH. Uh, pardon? Okay, let me cover this. Okay. <laughs> And uh, then the third thing is it's it's simple that like uh, you need to uh, add the remote scripts, the scripts in the scripts folder to your to your site. So and and calling these scripts is pretty simple. You you specify Jax, you you have specified a path for it. You specify a server parameter and and an action. It stands for action, and and you you specify the name of the script. If if if, it if the script is present on the web website, uh, on the on your remote website, it'll, it'll uh, execute the script and it'll, it'll do a job for you. If you want to do the same job in a number group of websites, you can specify a group. It'll, it'll do the same job on a group of websites. So so it is it is that simple. And and seriously, it is it is just limited to our imagination of the things that we can do. So. Uh, this is something that we uh, <coughs> I don't need to tell in this audience. Uh, there are basically two things that you need to know. Joomla folder structure and the architecture and Joomla API. So the things that you need to do, sometimes the API uh, has nothing to do with it. You just uh, change some file in the architecture, or you, you just change some folder and, uh, and the stuff like that. So you need to know, uh, if, if you are Changing a particular feature, you need to know where the code resides. Uh, okay, and and uh, if if some if you see some data on your website, you need to know where in that particular in, in the database schema that data is present. Uh, so uh, the folder structure, the data database schema, and the architecture, you, know, you need to be familiar with that. This has almost nothing to do with the API. And then there are some things like publish and publish articles and all those things. They are they are done through the Joomla API. They are the standard things. So, uh, like the first one, if if you have a, if you have an extension which is which is not the core extension, and uh, you want to you want to uh, build a script for that extension, so uh, the Joomla API won't help. So you need to uh, know the like like, like know your uh, way around uh, the the API. So the folder structure, architecture, and database schemas, uh, the, the knowledge of these things is important. So. Uh, I'll be I'll be demonstrating two simple scripts which are already present in in in, in the uh, <coughs> uh, in, in the scripts folder, and these the building CLI application very intuitive, straightforward, and very very simple. It is uh, like it is step by step procedure, and uh, it, it, like when we, we we read a code, uh, it it makes things very intuitive. So it is not that difficult at all. So it is a pr Pretty basic uh, script for taking out, uh, like uh, taking website offline. We just go to the configuration file, check for the string public, uh, and 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 uh, if it is offline, we we change the script to uh, like online or off online. Within we change the script to offline. So uh, it is it is it is that simple. So uh, we just need to need to bootstrap our our, our like platform and then uh, use the defines file for all the. Uh, or all the constants that that are defined. So, and uh, after bootstrapping, we can we are good to go in this. Then, if we take a look at another little 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 complex script, then then again we we do the simple bootstrapping of uh, like, like we include the defines file and we bootstrap of uh, our platform. Uh, then we when we add some PHP settings, uh, like we change some INI settings, like. If you want to, and then we are good to go. We instantiate, like we, we define a class. We define a class with the same name as the file name, and this is uh, the name that you call through your command line, and <coughs> it basically imports every, every every everything uh, like uh, in the file system, and uh, it, it it takes the database parameters from the configuration file, takes a MySQL dump. Yes, yes. That 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 is like that is pretty obvious. Like if you, if you have uh, if you you're running scripts on your own server, then you can have the rights, right? Yeah. So 
So you're taking, uh, taking a simple MySQL dump, uh, you're taking all the folders recursively, taking in all the files, reading all the files, and making a zip archive of it. And then, yeah, th you're good to go. So you, you have, at the end of it, you, if you, you have an archive file and you have a backup ready. So like, like it, it, it is just in 100 lines of code, uh, you have the entire backup of the site. And, and it is a pretty, pretty standardized script. So uh, uh, this is the aim, like, like we need to have scripts like that uh, in Joomla. And let's see if, if in the next three or four months we can, we can have like 30 to 30 40 scripts for different tasks of Joomla. So. Yes, yes, uh, that can be done, yeah. Uh, yes. And actually, uh, they, there is, there is uh, a thread on, on the Joomla main, uh, mailing list when, when I, I asked the community uh, for, for their suggestions. So uh, I got many, many suggestions and most of the scripts, like this, this is not an ex exhaustive list of scripts. It's just, uh, I took some, some scripts to just show here. So, yeah. Yes, it's as as the project progresses and more people know about it, the suggestions will pour in. So yes. <laughs> so yeah. Thank you for coming. Any questions and like suggestions, answers? Yeah. Uh, for three. Uh, pardon? I'm using the platform, mm -hmm. not the uh, Actually, it's, it's still the platform in, in Joomla. Uh, yeah, they have not integrated the framework. Yeah, right. So you have all the, like, in, in, um, like in the last script, it is uh, all the CMS libraries, the, the legacy libraries, and all that stuff. If you see here, we are using the CMS library. We are also importing the legacy. And, and then we are importing the platform also, like, so. This is, this is this part that if you launch in Joomla app, it will be in Joomla docs. Uh, pardon? If you go, this part is inside Joomla docs, you go to look, uh, look the line, is it uh, documented? No, no, it is, I, I guess it is not documented. It is there on the GitHub repository. If you, if you clone the repository, you'll get these scripts. Okay. Yeah, so, and, and more scripts will be added to, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Because I think it's Yes, Joomla tools, it's, it's pretty, pretty advanced, but yeah. it is not like, like a product of Joomla. Like, yeah. Okay. So, like, I was, I was, <laughs> uh, like, uh, concerned about when I got to know about Joomla tools, I was concerned about, like, I, I talked to Elin, so uh, she told me that it is not like Joomla. Yeah. So, yeah. So, we need to have something of our own for the, for the community, yeah. And it is very simple. Like Joomla tools is not that simple. Like yeah, so it is very, very, very basic, very simple. It gets the work done. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm wondering about the like the platform specifications. Is there a way that you can teach your code or try to prepare for the changes to the framework as you kind of take them out? Like what sort of? I'm just something to think about. Uh, if 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 uh, the framework gets merged to the like uh, like if if the uh, if something changes, then we need to, like, uh, if, if our script doesn't work, we need to update our scripts. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, uh, the GSOC project ends. Last time, uh, my project was. Uh, like, like, like uh, GSOC has a deadline. It, it, it has start date, midterm evaluations, and a deadline. So, uh, and then Joomla is also has a release cycle. So last time my project uh, was about like uh, the CMS only. So uh, I need to have, I, I, I had uh, strict deadlines because I need to get my work in Joomla 3.2. Uh, but, but this time it is separate from the CMS. So uh, GSOC has already started. It started in May 20th. Yeah. yeah. And I've not started any work because of my exams and then I'm here. 
So I'll, I'll be going back and starting this work. So I, I uh, hope to continue after GSOC as well. Yeah. So because it is not uh, time bound, uh, like, like it, it, this stuff is not going to the CMS. So CMS yeah. release cycle is different and this is different, yeah. Le but but yeah, le still still like still I I would like to like com complete the project and the deadline is like uh, I think it's around August twentieth yeah August twentieth is the deadline yeah maybe five more days than that I hope so like will not take more than that so yeah, at the end of August I hope the entire application suit is ready yeah yeah in all deployed tested <laughs> for the community yes. <laughs>